People all over Flint are running water from the tap. Not to drink it, but to flush out the bad stuff. The flushing program is another necessary fix or step to fixing the city's broken water system. Governor Rick Snyder and Mayor Karen Weaver are asking all residents to run water in their homes. Every day for two weeks. The filters are working, but this will help clear and coat the pipes at no cost to you. The state is paying all Flint water bills in May to encourage the practice. David G. Mata Sr. is willing to give it a try. Flushing the pipes, getting them cleaned out, hope it works. Experts say people leery of using the water weren't running enough of it to rid the system of toxic lead. Slowing efforts to clean out lead deposits and recoat the pipes to make them safe again. Mata is among an untold number of Flint's 100,000 residents whose water was tainted after the city used the Flint River for 18 months without corrosion controls. It changed the color of my sink, changed the color of my toilets, changed the color of everything. And it had a bad scent, and you could smell it, you can breathe it, and you cough on it. As much as Mata hopes for good to come from running the water each day, not everybody is buying in. I don't trust it. Tammy Brewer is taking part in the pipe flushing effort, but she's not sure it's going to help. No more will I believe any government, anything. Bottled water, that's what I believe in. Bottled water is still available for free throughout the city. But officials and some residents are hoping potential fixes like the pipe flushing effort will put them back on the road to having clean water in their homes. Mike Householder, Associated Press, Flint, Michigan.